think the picture cars on the snowfall do 80% of the job for the environment and transporting the viewer to 1986. I've been driving a car since season one. So now I feel like a pro. So like when we do a scene in the car and they're like, okay, do you want us to drive it back to one? I'm like, nah, I got it. I'll, I'll, I'll bring it back. It's, it's been cool, it's been cool. Cause I'm, I'm a car fanatic. So being able to like be in that moment and drive a vehicle from that time, it just helps me, you know, get back into character. It's 1986 in Snowfall Land. So anytime you're out on the streets and you have to replace all the automobiles, Brian Gurney, our picture car coordinator has this Herculean task of creating the auto world for Snowfall. The warehouse itself is one of the coolest structures I've ever seen. It's like all graffiti. It's really kind of a cool world to go over there and see all those old cars in that cool building right there on the set. So this is our warehouse. This is kind of where we keep everything. We have cop cars, Franklin's cars, Jerome's cars. I mean, just everybody. Each car is different in its own way, as far as like mechanisms and things like that. We do a lot of pulling of doors, windows coming down, windows coming out. There's just a lot of little things that make this project unique. There's been a little more action this season than most. A lot of shootouts, a lot of crashes and things like that. My favorite moment involving the cars this season was where me, Sergio Perez Mancheta and Carter Hudson were doing a deal and then we're ambushed. And then we have to drive away, have to back up, hit into the truck. Stay down, stay down. I really felt like Harrison Ford. And then we drive off. It was just amazing to have an environment that instantly transports you to that time. We go through a lot of vehicles on the show, a lot. We've been through five vehicles with Franklin. This season, he's in the Lincoln Town Car. We have Jerome's BMW. He's been through two cars. Louie's been through two cars. It's nice to track Louis and Jerome's growth, you know, through the cars. Louis's old car, it was nice, but it was big. And now she's got this cute little Benz, I think it is, and looks sporty, and it definitely is an upgrade, absolutely. There is a moment where Louis and Jerome have a scene with Mello. Mello drives up this Ferrari. And Eamon, not Jerome, Eamon is like, what? How does he don't have this car? Where's our Ferrari? So that is fun, like, kind of tracking their success and who's more successful or more showy. Petty is another one. This is his third car in two seasons. The last few seasons, I've driven this, like, boat of a car. I mean, the thing sticks out, like, 45 feet in front of you, and it weighs, like, two tons. I think part of Teddy coming back now is stripping him even further down. So now the car is some shitty beater, you know, and and it just gets more and more beat up as the season goes, as like more and more violent things happen. It's always funny when there's like two of the same car from 40 years ago, and like it's one and it's old and shitty, and then there's like one and it's old and shitty, but it has like bullet holes and the glass broken out, and they kind of just swap them out. It's like, where do they find two of those cars? These cars aren't designed or weren't designed at the time to last. These are all what we consider throwaway cars. So parts are very hard to find. Things break easier. Things don't last. So yeah, the 80s, 80s are definitely challenging. To keep them running, it's really up to my guys. The crew that we work with is phenomenal. It's like a little family. We've all grown together to almost be able to read each other's minds. Mighty is a unique piece. It's what I would consider the heart of the operation because there's a lot of tools and there's a lot of support pieces on that. It's a Mitsubishi. It's a little bit bigger than the golf cart. It's got gas on it. It's got fluids, oils, glass cleaner. I mean, anything you could, you could need for picture cars. It has everything. Being able to, you know, talk to stunts and talk to effects and, you know, visual effects as well, what they're gonna see, what they plan on using, will determine on how we handle things. Hopefully we don't destroy too many of these because when they last for 50 years and then we turn around and destroy them, it kind of hurts my heart. <laughs> That's why we do what we can to take care of them. Five years of this has been really awesome. So I look forward to next season. <laughs>